Monday marks 22 years since the terrorist attacks of September 11th. But it's also a time to remember those who are still struggling with 9-11 related illnesses. CBS 2's Jennifer Bisram speaks with one survivor turned advocate. We advocate 364 days out of the year, and we take that one day off to stop the advocacy, to pay respect to those who died on 9-11. 22 years later, and the pain from those who lost loved ones on 9-11 is still raw, and the fight for those who are still battling illnesses continues. There's now over 27,000 certified people with a 9-11 certified cancer. Nearly 3,000 people lost their lives during the terror attacks on that fateful September day. And over 5,000 more have died from 9-11 related illnesses since, including those who worked, lived, and went to school in lower Manhattan. The numbers continue to grow. John Field worked at Ground Zero days after the attack. 8,000 pounds of steel crushed my left foot. I wound up spending 11 weeks in the hospital. But my injury, while gruesome and horrific, pales in comparison to those who got sick and died. The 56-year-old says he had to fight for his own benefits, and that's why he became an advocate for 9-11 first responders, most recently working with comedian John Stewart to secure federal health funding for those impacted by the tragedy. 350 plus trips to D.C., over 2,300 meetings, the bills that we got passed in Congress don't save lives, but it gives people a fighting chance. He also helped push for the 9-11 Glade at the memorial and museum site that honors those who are sick or died from 9-11 illnesses like cancer and opened a 9-11 Responders Remembered Park on Long Island. We have an obligation to continue to tell the stories of those who get sick and died. The 9-11 Memorial continues to be a tribute to the victims, honors the survivors, and is a beacon of hope for those who visit. To the children who lost a parent in the building that day, or a cop or a firefighter, or those who ran into harm's way, never stop talking about your, your loved one. And this weekend, authorities were able to identify the remains of two victims killed on 9-11, with the help of advanced DNA technology. Over a thousand human remains from that day 22 years ago have yet to be identified. In Lower Manhattan, Jennifer Bisram, CBS 2 News. The September 11th commemoration ceremony begins Monday morning at 8.30. We will go on the air at 8.25 and bring the observances to you live right here on CBS 2.